In this video, we're going to take two humans, plop them down in the center of the map here, one and two, and here's Adam and Eve. We're going to name this one Adam, and then we're going to name this one Eve. I'm going to make sure they're both starred, and we're going to watch as these two probably, hopefully don't die to this wolf. <laughs> Please kill it. Don't die. Hold on. Okay, got rid of the trees. Please kill it. Between the both of them, right? Okay, good. <laughs> I'll turn on villages, names, and borders, and here we go. We got Teddy Go, the first city out of many. So what they're going to do is, over time, they're going to fill up the entire map with a ton of cities. A wolf just came along and ate one of them. Oh, <laughs> no! Okay, here goes the other one. They're all... Okay. They're both dead. <laughs> Gosh dang it. I'm going to turn on peaceful monsters, and I'm also going to turn off rebellions for now. So here's our new Adam and Eve. <laughs> there we go, they're both renamed. All right, <laughs> okay. The new city's Lamika, and this wolf shouldn't attack him now, because I did turn off the world law. All right, perfect. So back to what I was saying, they're gonna fill up the whole map with a ton of different cities, and once the world population reaches 4,000, which is only at two right now, I'm going to use this inspiration tool, which will make all of the cities hate each other. And all of them will become their own nations, and then they will clear war on each other, and we're gonna see who wins. Because it's a world box video, you have to have death and destruction. I'm also going to turn off old age because I don't, I do want Adam and Eve still around when it becomes the great war. And just to be more Adam and Eve style, I'm going to name this Eden. The city of Eden. Perfect. Here's some stone for some advancements. Maybe some gold because I'm a generous god. At least for now. <laughs> it looks like Adam and Eve have had children. <laughs> Here's one of them running around. What's his name? Ichiva. <laughs> I wouldn't name one of my children that. Sorry if your name's Ichiva. I can't find the other one. Here it is. Isit. Not, not, not a terrible name. Oh, they've gotten up their first stone house. Let me get rid of the tree so you can see it. <laughs> They're booming in population. They got six people now. Seven. <laughs> Eight. They're popping them out left and right. One of their children has grown up. Oh, two of them have. There's some, there's some adults running around here. <laughs> For the war later on, Eden being in the center of the map is not an advantage. They will have the advantage of the most time to grow, but usually it's the cities in the corners. If there's a big city that owns a corner, that's roughly about 150 to 200 population, they have a much higher chance of winning as they don't have four, four flanks to defend. They have the ocean behind them as protection, but we'll see what happens. This game surprises me more than you think it would. They just colonized their first city, Gattaca. So Gattaca, the second city, once the Great War happens, it will rebel against them, and it will fight against Eden and all the other cities around it. And who knows, maybe it'll win. Maybe Eden will win. Maybe another random city that hasn't appeared yet will win. Looking at Adam now, he's got a blunt axe. <laughs> it's got some decent buffs, and he is part of the military now. Oh, and Eve was one of the colonists. Eve over here is just wise, not part of the military, was one of the colonists to go colonize Gattaca. So now they, they live in separate cities. So Adam lives in Eden, and Eve lives in Gattaca. Whoa, I did not see that one coming. Here, I have some stone. They're setting up their third city, Awogana. <laughs> They're starting to get pretty big here. Eden especially, leading the way with 92 population. They're getting to the point now where they're definitely starting to focus more on expansion. They're going to be setting up more and more cities real quick. Eden has now reached over 100 population with the expansion of all the other cities around Eden. Eden can really only take up two more tiles in the north if the other cities don't take them first. And in the south it's being cut off too by the other two cities here. If it, if it manages to get this tile, then it can start to spread through, but then the gap is still closing. Eden's borders are becoming finite. Eden's so wealthy that they have a fountain thingy that looks really cool, they have a hand statue, and they have a mighty castle. All the other cities just got these little wooden town halls. Here's one of the corner cities I was talking about earlier, Gudo here. It's got all of this territory coming up here, and it looks like it's going to secure the corner. Giving Gudo really only two flanks to fight against, being the west and the north. And up in the north here, we got another city kind of doing the same thing. The world population has now surpassed 2,000 and growing really quickly. The world has now surpassed 3,000 population. The world's looking really full. The last little bit of land here is in the southwest. We got three cities racing for it. Population's rising though. It's at 3,420. And as soon as it hits 4,000, I'm not waiting for any city to develop any further. I'm making them kill each other. <laughs> the cities in the middle of the map, though, are definitely way more developed than, like, the outer ones. Once we start going further out, a lot, there's a lot more wooden houses, and the houses are a little bit less dense. However, I am noticing a lot of these big cities didn't even make a mine. Normally, they make a mine, and then with that mine, just like here, they get all the stone and the resources to upgrade all their houses. But, like, Yehadran, it's really big, it has a ton of population, but there's no mine here. 
I don't know why they decided not to make one. Same with Gudo, and it's definitely gonna affect them negatively, as they would have better equipment and more population if they built a mine. There's only two tiles left, and there's three cities here to grab it. Ogro here, that's even smaller than the other two cities I was just looking at, have built a mine themselves. Oh, thanks, a guy just dropped down the tree. We can see it better now. <laughs> there's now only one tile left. It's disputed between two cities, as, as Yvinson just blocked off Ishimon. Hopefully one of these two cities actually take this tile before it reaches 4,000 population. We're getting really close. The last tile has been taken, not even by Ogaro, but Yvinson. <laughs> and the population of the whole map here is almost there with less than 200 to go. Look at what Adam and Eve have made. Sorry, I know it's laggy. My computer can't handle this. <laughs> but those two people have given birth to uh, a lot of people. <laughs> I guess 3,881 of them. They're all descendants from them. Five population left. Here we go. 4,000. The world that Adam and Eve have made is now 4,000 population strong. So I'm going to pause the game with a total of 4,008 population. I'm going to grab the inspiration tool, grab the biggest brush size, and I'm just going to go all the way over it. And it will turn them all into separate nations. Now we have several different empires here, and they're all going to kill each other to see who's the last one remaining. First up, we got Ichiporo in the top left corner. Then we have Yufapon, Sabo Chovo, Desheka. Okutran, Yisporo, the super long nation, Rachi Kai, Rachi, Rachi Kyo, Ewogona, Gattaca, Yakod, Adekyo, Sivad, Odato, then we have Eden, the initial empire, Ofinsk, Saitoba, Maib, that's a stupid name, I hope they lose, Ishimon, Yvinson, Ogairo, Baluka, Moisamois, Asifiro, I don't know if I said that one already, Yadran, and Guto. So that's all of our contestants here. I know it looks like these two are on a team, but they're not. They are separate empires. Here, I'll make sure. Yep, they're separate. So we have them all here, and let's see who wins. I'm going to give them spite so they all hate each other with absolute hate. Not just a little bit of hate, but full hate. Like a lot of it. And now if we go to the relations tool and click on any of these, they should all be red. They hate everybody. Not a single friend. Sounds like middle school. <laughs> no. Just me. Hello darkness, my old friend. One last look at Adam. He's somewhere in here. Here he is, over here next to the castle. He's got a huge axe of power. It's only an epic weapon. Got some decent buff still with negative two speed. He's 257 years old though, and has 47 children. And Eve is still in Gattaca. Eve has a copper good axe. It's a rare weapon. It's also got some decent buffs. Again, also 257. But Eve only had 25 children, so Adam was definitely getting it on. Alright, let's see who wins. If I had to bet, it would be one of the corner nations. Play. Alright, immediately. Oh, oh my computer. Alright, there's conflicts. There should be losing tiles. You'll see cities being taken over. I don't know what's the best way to view this. Zoomed out or zoomed in. Nations are losing land and population is dropping. If you look at the population numbers of all the cities, they're going down really fast. Some cities are going to start disappearing. Looking at Echo Fira. Okay, cities are taking over other cities. Ooh, okay, Eden's been taken over by Mibe. <laughs> the stupid name. Hopefully they lose. Okay, so zooming out here, you can definitely see who's starting to win. It, the the top left corner here, Itchy. Okay, Eden's gone. Ooh, this is happening so fast. The top left nation's definitely, I would say, winning. Definitely is. So looking at the kingdoms here, so many of them just died. Sunisinsk Empire is winning with over 100 more population. And they will just continue to grow that population. They're even attacking Saitoba now, which is, what, under the rule of Gudo. So yeah, two two corner nations here. And then Yesiporo, which I don't know if that's the original empire that owned that land or not. Oh, well, Gona took them over. Never mind. And Rachikai only has three population. They won't last much longer. There's a guy punching one of the kids. <laughs> Ogiro, the corner nation over here, got taken over by Waisa Moist, which is just getting taken over by Guto. But dang, all of those cities just got destroyed immediately. They're, they're just ghost towns now. Even the castle for Eden's gone. But the two statues are still here. <laughs> oh, the two middle cities over here got destroyed? And yes, Aporo's taking over some of the white nations. Ooh, they're in here fighting like crazy. So all the big middle nations here just got absolutely annihilated. Gudo just took over Mibe, which why is that city still alive? Out of all of them that had to die. And Yesei Poro is completely just taken over the <laughs> the white nation, whatever it's called. Ichi Poro though has quite a bit of population still compared to the rest of the cities. So there are only four empires left. And the Vincent, which is controlled by Gudo in the bottom right corner here, has taken the lead. And the Ogaro just got destroyed. Okay, they got taken over by Gudo. Oh, and here comes Yesei Poro also attacking Gudo. Oh, snap. Yesei Poro out of nowhere. 
taking over the whole map. They're attacking the capital. Gudo also has quite a bit of population though, with only 50, but a lot of the population in these cities are kids or not even soldiers. <laughs> All the soldiers are gone. Oh, but Gudo took a turn and they took Yusuporo's or whatever it's called's capital. Oh, and, and the white nation just got taken over by what was Yusuporo, the new capital being Adikayo. Gudo has now been taken over. And gosh dang it, Mibe is still alive. Only four population. Come kill it. Somebody, please. So with the two empires left right now, Rapiva Empire, which is the red kind of orangish one, has 391 population with 10 cities. And the Vincent, which was first place just a little bit ago, only has 108 population now with four cities under its control. With Mibe getting attacked right now. Good. Get rid of it. <laughs> They're even trying to set up another city. Oh, same with the other empire. The Gudu Empire is coming in here and taking over a lot of the northern cities. Just like Yusuporo did a while ago. Now Gudo's the capital of the new of the empire that took it over. Because they just took over Adikayo, the, the old capital. What a twist. They're just switching sides. Ogaro now is the capital of this empire. And it's so far away from the rest of the cities. The Mibe's finally gone. Good. Oh, and as they're taking over the north, they're taking down over the south too. Maybe they can retake Gudo, the kind of rust color empire only having three cities now. There's some decent sized conflicts happening along the borders. Gudo's holding strong, same with Yedran. They're actually killing these two cities. Six population left and 14 population left, with a lot of the territory in here just completely gone. And they're just running around slaughtering the children. There we go, they took over Gudo somehow, and now Yedran is the new capital as they did take over the northern city in the top left. And there we go, they're all united. Yadran was just taken over. With the new capital being Ogaro, it was Gudo. I believe this is the original Gudo empire. Could be wrong. For all I know, a city took over Gudo a long time ago. <laughs> now the real question is, is Adam and Eve still alive? Nope, definitely not, they're dead. They're dead as dirt. Congratulations to the Vincent empire. They've taken the W. Adam and Eve with the original city of Eden and their great legacy is now history.